Hello, my loves, it's me, Jazzy Mac, and today I have multiple opportunities for eBay, multiple opportunities to work from home and to work multiple different shifts. I actually have a couple of different companies that I'm going to show to you that are going to be perfect for those of you that don't have a ton of experience. And we're also going to do something really special for our military family because we need to do more to support our transitioning military heroes that are coming back into civilian life. But I do want to point out that for eBay, the jobs are global. Um, we've got everything in North America, Europe, even Asia Pacific. So for purposes of this video, I am going to highlight some um, roles that are based here in Georgia because that's just where I live. But again, you'll come over here and type in your location um, to find the jobs that correspond to your region. So let's hop into the first opportunity. Um, it's going to be this one. The first opportunity for eBay is going to be the customer service representative on the buyer experience team. Again, this is going to say it's remote to Georgia, um, but all you'll need to do is go in and type in your state to see um, the availability for your region. And again, they are hiring um, nationwide as well as globally. So on the customer services team, you're going to support the eBay customers and help them tackle problems um, and just make them feel good along the way. So you're basically going to be answering questions regarding site navigation, um, new account setups, uh, maybe some payment support and other their general questions. Uh, you know, you can just kind of think like the times that you've purchased things off of eBay, you might have had questions around where your order is. Um, or, you know, you might have said, hey, I never actually paid for this. Can you assist me with this transaction? So it's going to be things of that nature. And they're saying they just want you to have call center or relevant customer service experience. Now, when it comes to relevant customer service, I don't care if you worked at McDonald's, I don't care if you were a volunteer for the Red Cross. It doesn't matter. Anything where you talked to a customer, you took customer information, you put customer information into a um, some sort of POS system or a data entry system, all of that is relevant experience. I don't care if you worked at Ross or TJ Maxx putting clothes back on the racks. That is still considered customer service experience. So please do not shortchange your experience. Um, a B2C environment is just a fancy way of saying business to customer. So if you worked for a business or if you worked for a nonprofit, um, maybe you worked as a paralegal, maybe you worked as an assistant, an office manager, all of that is considered a business environment where, where you communicate with the customers. Um, so yeah, they want you to be a stellar communicator, be customer centric and be able to work in a fast paced environment. Um, and they want you to be able to work, uh, structured, um, work schedules. So this isn't one of those like come to work when you get ready jobs. They obviously want you to work a consistent schedule. Um, they do want you to have consistent, uh, internet speed, but they will provide the equipment to you. So they provide the laptop, um, and everything else that comes with the equipment, eBay will provide it to you. And I think they still do the stipend um, where like at some point, I think it's like they were giving like either a thousand or 1500 to do your office setup. I don't know if they still do that or not. Um, but yeah, it's something you can ask the recruiter. Now the starting pay is going to be 1850 with differentials for swing and weekend shifts. Remember starting pay means that is the minimum you can get paid. Obviously that number can go up if you negotiate it. So please negotiate. Okay. That number also goes up if you work, you know, alternate shifts. I think it's like a 10% or maybe 15% differential, uh, making it somewhere around like 21 bucks an hour. 
uh, if you work an alternate shift. Uh, remember, eBay is 24-7, so there are various different shifts that you can work. You do get benefits from day one. You get so many freaking days of PTO. Um, and you also get quarterly bonuses and yearly performance raises. So this is not your like everyday call center job that you're probably just going to be at for six months. Like eBay is a place that you literally could like work at for years and continue to grow with the company. Now, when it comes to our military people, we're going to talk about um, an opportunity for you next. But I quickly want to do the resume demonstration for our customer service rep role. And remember, this is going to be down in the description box. Um, all of the resumes that I do examples on, they are in the ultimate resume bundle. And for those of you that already have um, downloaded that bundle, you've already received notification of this being in your library. I always tell you guys first before I put it on YouTube because I feel like you should get that advantage. So things that we want to make sure that we have in our resume is we always want to talk about, you know, like our professional summary, like maybe you're a technical specialist, you work in retail, customer service, that type of stuff. But I always like to put the name of the team that I'm going to work for and the company name, because those are just free, like hot words. OK, um, you'll also want to call out any B2C call center experience. So if you ever work in collections, billing support, technical support, any type of phone support, you want to make sure you put that B to C in there, right? Um, and if you've got experience in, you know, chat or email support, um, you're obviously going to have experience in knowledge base articles or some people call them KB articles. Um, and KPIs is definitely something they're probably gonna ask you about to make sure that you're aware of things like average handle time and customer satisfaction surveys. Um, so yeah, those are things that you'll want to call out um, and make sure that if you've, you've done phone support, you list out, you know, how many average calls per day you, you took, or if you worked at TJ Maxx, how many average customers did you interact with on a daily basis? You know, what other sorts of things did you do in the store? Did you also train customers? Did you also, you know, train employees? Those are things that you want to call out. So again, this resume and all the other resumes are down in the description box if you need them. Um, our next job is going to be specifically for our military friends. And don't worry, I actually have a bonus company I'm going to show you in this same video. For those of you that don't have any experience at all, I have a company that will train you. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. That's coming up next. But the DOD Skill Bridge Apprenticeship program. I'm assuming DOD is Department of Defense. Okay. Um, so it says, are you a military service member? Um, getting ready to separate from active duty. If so, then this is for you. Now, if you have already separated, then yes, you can still apply for this. But basically, this program is for those that are coming from the military, transitioning into civilian life to take their military skills and match them with civilian job skills um, to create a pathway. So I think this is a... It's like a four month training program. It is paid during that time. And in addition to that, you know, you'll do this training, but then they'll, they will also give you the opportunity to kind of like decide what kind of career path you may want to do at um, eBay according to like their business needs and stuff. So it's kind of like, I don't know, just, you know, uh, Hey, welcome home. Um, here's how you get back into the civilian world from a career perspective. So you'll just want to make sure that you've got your TAD or TDY, um, orders, you know, that paperwork that says that you're about to be discharged and that sort of stuff and be able to participate in the program for, um, the duration of it, which is 125 days. So let's look at that resume of what um, a person in the military would generally want to use because a lot of people don't know how to create a military to civilian life resume. Um, sometimes I think people in the military have like a whole bunch of acronyms and like it doesn't make sense to a civilian. So 
let me just kind of show you how to break it down. Okay. So again, we want to call out, you know, the name of the team and that good stuff. So the DOD stuff, um, the DOD skill bridge at eBay, we want to call that out. You're a highly trained military veteran with experience and uh, retail customer service or whatever is appropriate. Um, and if you want to put other things like, I don't know, maybe you had like security plus a lot of people get that in the military and a lot of people get other things like, you know, they might be a telecommunications, you know, stuff like that. They might have that type of experience. So you can put whatever high level experience, um, areas you have. Um, but let's say you were a military police. Okay. We don't need to necessarily list out like your battalion, um, or, you know, any of that stuff that is really important in the military, but that like a regular civilian may not understand or appreciate. So we want to talk about what you did in the military, but also be able to say that in layman's terms. So if you were a military police in the U.S. Army, okay, that's great. What you did as a police, maybe you were responsible for the department's budget or for staffing um, or for making sure that everybody had the appropriate equipment or, you know, maybe you did some strategic planning on the military base. So you want to just put that in layman's terms. Um, you know, simple things like, hey, you responded to emergency calls for police, fire and other medical services from military personnel and local businesses. Right. Um, so simple things like that. Maybe you served as the incident commander um, for major incidents and emergencies, um, you know, relieved by higher ranking personnel, you know, or by whatever subordinates or, or, you know, whatever they call that. I'm sorry. I am a, a military, uh, sister and I've got three brothers in the military in the army, air force and Navy. And so I get the terminology between those three branches like mixed up. So Please forgive me for not speaking um, the appropriate terminology, but I hope that makes sense. Again, this template is down in the description box. So I hope you understand more about how to translate that military experience into something that is easily understood from a civilian perspective. All right. So let's go to our opportunities for those of you that say, OK, Desi, I don't have a whole bunch of experience. Um, oh, and I forgot to show you. I've got like, where is it? We've got interview questions for eBay. Two questions that are guaranteed to be on that application are going to be, why do you want to work <laughs> um, at eBay? Those are on the actual application. You have to submit a response to those questions um, before you can submit your you know, full application. And then why are you wanting to work in a retail environment? Or I'm sorry, in a remote environment. Um, so yeah, those two questions you need to spend some time thinking about. I've put some sample answers out there for those of you that have the uh, ultimate resume kit. Um, but, you know, I always like include answers for you to ask them as well, like questions for you to ask the hiring manager and stuff. So if they were to stay on that application and I'm telling you up front, this is going to be on the application. Why have you chosen to pursue a career at eBay? Well, for starters, eBay is literally a trailblazer in the innovative e-commerce space. I truly admire the long-term success and industry leadership of eBay. I'm a bit of a tech nerd and shopaholic, and it doesn't get any better than eBay when it comes to being a global leader of connecting buyers and sellers on a safe platform. And plus, you guys made the Glassdoor 2022 best places to work list, and that obviously says a lot about how well you treat your employees. So with eBay's growth potential um, and, you know, just the cutting edge technology of the company, that's something that I really want to be a part of long term. OK, that is how I would answer that question on the application. And that's also how I would answer that question in the interview. So uh, let's move on to the next thing I'm a thing. Um, so for those of you that say, Jazzy, I've never worked from home. I don't have any sort of, you know, previous experience. Kelly Connect is a company that I 
would recommend. I have personally worked for Kelly Connect years and years and years ago. Um, and I really enjoyed it. So it's a great starter position. So technical support representative is going to be this role. And yes, they do hire globally. I get a lot of people saying, hey, what about Canada? Yes, you can work in Canada. Um, and the rate is going to be $17.85 starting out, but that rate does go up. So you can get up to... Here it is up to 2145. Um, once you kind of learn like different Q support, like you could be the tier one Q support or maybe tier two chat support. So they've got a bunch of different Qs. If I had to guess, I would say this is probably going to be like doing Apple support, like for uh, the Apple store is what it kind of sounds like to me. Um, based on some of the things that I saw, cause it's saying like half a mirror familiarity with like iOS and Mac OS um, or similar technology. So if you're not using an iPhone or a MacBook, that's good enough. Now, again, they do have multiple shifts um, starting as early as 8 a.m. and going into the uh, middle of the night, like 1 a.m. Um, so they do give you the option to kind of like pick your shift but there are going to be like, I think like everybody has to work like at least one weekend a month or something like that. I can't remember, but there, this is a job that really does have a lot of flexibility in you picking your shifts as far as day or night or, you know, just weekends, things of that nature. So this is probably like a really good, like full-time gig to have, but it's also a good part-time gig um, because they let you decide if you want to be full-time or part-time. So locating music apps and movies on devices, billing issues, um, helping customers navigate through various apps. I am just like so sure that this is like freaking Apple support. Um, but yeah, so it says you're going to interact with five customers, up to five customers at a time. And this could be through chats. It could be through inbound calls. It depends on business needs. Um, back when I was doing it, they give you eight weeks of training, I think. And then like you have like a little buddy that you're like in the chat support queue with. And like you guys just like take turns responding to customers. It was pretty cool, you know, um, and they're just saying they like, want you to have like six months of customer service experience. If you don't have it there, they will still hire you. And as long as you do well in the uh, interview, um, which the phone interviews are pretty like they were like five minutes. Like seriously, they were very easy, very low stress. And, you know, it, it was like my process was like a freaking week before I got hired. So great job, great opportunity. Um, some of the other roles that they have are, um, this one's going to pay a little bit more simply because it is um, a more technical role. So this is the Mac IT service desk analyst. This is, I think, working directly for Kelly Connect. I don't think this is like Apple support or anything, um, but it's $20 per hour. And you're basically going to do things like um, provide end user support um, for the Apple environment. Um, so that you're going to provide support for iMacs, Mac minis, um, and latest versions of other Mac operating systems and land based services. Um, in addition to that, you're going to maybe use the call tracking tool and database to record call details and to track troubleshooting progress, right? And then they want you to be like aware of how long it takes to repair something and document that and things of that nature. So this is a, um, I think it's a really cool role. I mean, it's it's for those people that are a little bit more technical in nature. So if you've got a little bit more advanced knowledge of like basic IT troubleshooting, um, this is probably something that you would really, really enjoy. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the other opportunities. And another one that I wanted to just highlight super quickly is this one, the bilingual technical support um, role in Canada. Now, this position is in Canada. Again, you know, they've got positions that go beyond, you know, the US. So make sure you type in your location. Um, but yeah, similar role, you know, familiarity with iOS and Mac OS. Um, 
and, you know, being able to resolve things like username and password setups or troubleshooting email issues, um, helping customers with downloads, things of that nature. So six months of experience. Um, and if you don't like if you speak French or if you speak Spanish, always make sure you're making them pay you more for that. OK, um, these rates are generally the minimum that they'll pay you. But when you have like Spanish speaking skills, you can get like an extra, you know, a couple bucks per hour for that. So please make sure you're making them pay you for that skill set. OK, that is considered a skill set. Um, here is the resume for this particular job. So I would call out things like, you know, that I saw in the job description. You could probably use the same resume for all three of those jobs, to be honest. But in user support is something you want to call out. Of course, the KPIs, again, we always want to make sure. Um, pointing out that you have um, experience in iOS support or Mac support. Again, if you know how to use an iPhone, if you know how to use a MacBook, you're a wizard at it, please put that in your skills area, okay? Um, and make sure you call out, you know, oh, this should actually be at Kelly Connect. Um, and making sure you call out like, other little technical skills that you might have, right? Um, I can tell you upfront, Kelly Connect loves stats. So if you've ever been good at hitting sales goals or having like a high customer satisfaction percentage, they love that, okay? So make sure you capitalize on that if that is something that you've got experience in. And make sure you're calling out words like MacBook, iPad, iPhone, because obviously those are other hot words, okay? So I got this thing looking like a freaking St. Patrick's Day cake or something. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully that gives you an understanding of some things that you can put in your resume. And again, if you need this, it's down below in the description box. They do have multiple, multiple shifts, um, multiple different pay rates. And you know, it's 2023, y'all. Come on, let's get the bag, okay? Let me know what other types of jobs you want to see, and I will be happy to do, to do videos on it, you know? All right, so until the next time, I will see you later. Bye.